Hi everyone! It's Friday. This means today is another day. It's another vlog for us. My name is FP. You can also call me Rika. And if you're a newbie, I hope you consider liking and subscribing. You will help me in my channel to grow. And also, I will reach 27,000 subscribers because of your help. Thank you so much, lovelies in advance as well as with my longtime viewers. So, we're gonna do a question and answer since I do have a lot. And sorry if it's late, guys, but I hope if you ask me this question, you will watch this video until the end. Alright? So, before we start, I want to ask your help for you to support me on my other social media accounts like Instagram called Filipina Petite, as well as on my Facebook page called Filipina Petite. So, thank you, thank you so much. Now, if you're ready, lovies, here we go. The first question that I want to answer is, Hi, FP, can you upload travel vlog and show us the beauty of the Philippines? So, one of my dreams before, when I started my YouTube channel, was to be a travel vlogger while showing the entire beauty of the Philippines to my foreign viewer subscribers. But unfortunately, lovies, it is my one of my biggest dream but not right now because it's going to be expensive because we need to um, have money for a plane ticket for hotel the accommodation and we, where we need to stay right so it could be like cost a lot of money so maybe in the future I mean there's no impossible right that's why um, it's still one of my dream not only showing you the entire beauty of the Philippines but also going to Asian countries or Europe or even you know other first world country when I can afford it so number two have you tried the balut for those who who doesn't know what balut is this is a duck egg the 18 days old duck egg and it's kind of gross for you guys but for me as a Filipino honestly I never tasted balut not because I don't like but because like i didn't prioritize to taste it okay so maybe in the future i will ask my guy to try it with me for the first time and also yeah i don't feel like it's gross because you can just try it without eating the chick okay so but for you i know you will feel it's kind of yucky and you will not like it even to try it but for me no i never tried Number three, places in Philippines you would like to visit. So, I would love to see Sagada in Mountain Province where people are planting different kinds of veggies like um, cabbage, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower. And I would also love to bring, if ever I met the guy, in Baguio City, in Palawan, and in Boracay. Okay, so the next question, this is a similar one. Can we meet in Boracay? So, yeah. Unfortunately, lovies, I'm not meeting anyone. Not unless I am talking to you online or we're having an online relationship. So, some of you said on, on the email and on Instagram, I will say no. You will say like, oh, you should have a guy friend aside from your boyfriend. Because, you know, you should have a different world and not only him but unfortunately it is a big deal here in the philippines if you do have a lot of guy friends especially foreign people so i'm not the type of filipina and i can say that i am loyal to a guy that i am talking if ever i have so i will not m meeting anyone because you know the temptation um yeah i just don't like it so i'm really sorry number five if you meet the guy name a place you would love to show him so i recently found a beautiful place in Surigao del sur called the enchanted river now if you are not familiar with the place you can just google it google it and look for enchanted river in the philippines and you will see how pretty it is so one day um, at the right time I would love to show it to my guy. Six, how important money for you? Of course, guys, money is um, so important. Although it is not the most important thing in the world, we all know that if we have the money, we can have a comfortable life, we can uh, have a convenient lifestyle, you know. 
Um, but although, as I've said, this is not the most important thing, but money is still one of the important things in life right now for us. So if you don't have money, how you can live the life that you want? How much money are guys sending you every month? This is a common question that I often get from you guys. And the reality is I never accept money from anyone that i was talking online okay so yeah they know about it that's why for those who saying that okay you probably are rich now you have a lot of money because hundreds of men would want to date you and they would want to get your attention so they will send money for you no it's not true um they never send me money okay eight uh, what type of job are you looking for any job so when i was working in the middle east lobbies i worked as a waitress as a cashier as a call center agent order taker name it kids attendant so i love to have a job because you know it gives us the salary that we dream that we cannot get here in the philippines so any job even if it's you know a farmer so it's okay for me because i am used of working a lot and then next question would be hundred of guys would want to marry you are we, are you aware of that i i don't think this is true because you know my story so yeah maybe hundred of guys would love to marry me but it is really hard to look for someone or to find someone who is genuine and true to their words so yeah then you said you have not received flowers for real yes i have never received flowers from a guy and 11 things you dislike about the philippines so one thing that i don't like about our country is because you know the age limit so if you reach the age of 28 or 29 you are considered as old the first thing that will happen love is is that people will um, consider you as old and it's really hard to look for a job because a lot of competition when you apply for a position not only that if you don't have the degree it could be really hard for us because you know we are uh, just a developing country and also when you reach my age like 32 33 because people are considering you as old so they will pressure you to get married to have a child at least if you don't want to date anyone they would just say like you should you should uh, get married by now you should have three or four kids right now and it can pressure us a lot so this is what i don't like about our culture and also the government <laughs> so i don't like it and then okay do you support the parents and do you expect your boyfriend to support you or them so my parents are both passed in 2016 the same year because after my mom passed away guys my dad was so depressed and he doesn't want to eat he doesn't want to sleep so after five months he also passed away now the second question is do you expect your boyfriend to support you or them i never expect okay because you all know that i am hard working i do ha have a lot of job here guys just to earn money so it's not that big like the money you're earning whatever you are right now but at least you know it can support myself my daughter and some of my family members so i will not pressure my boyfriend or my husband to support them because the first thing is they are good i mean they can work and they can find um ways to make a living so no pressure for 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 the guy that i will be with in the future next one is were you in mall of asia this month so this is the third question that i got even on my instagram account but when i was in manila this month or in may 23 one twenty five I have not visited the Mall of Asia. I just stayed at the hotel after my BFS appointment at Makati City. So I think I wasn't the one you saw there. Fourteen, aside from YouTube, what do you do for a living? Like a lot selling and 
you know in social media so my cousin has a bakery and i help her and the boyfriend and i am the one in charge in marketing so we are selling cakes pastries and anything that we know that can you know give us some money so yeah i do have a lot of job here guys okay uh 15 potato or rice it will be rice of course because here in the philippines lab is but uh, rice is life <laughs> So it's rice, okay, not potato. The last one that I want to answer is they have FaceTime. Are you available for video chat? So I am getting similar questions. You guys are asking me about my Skype, my WhatsApp, and my FaceTime. But uh, I'm not using FaceTime, but I'm using WhatsApp and no more Skype now. Okay, on my contact list are only the important people in my life. So if you are not important to me, <laughs> just kidding if like i am not talking to you online or you are not in a circle of my life here then i'm not going to add you on my whatsapp so okay i'm not available for video chat not unless it is really important and if you have questions um to me on my instagram you can send it all right so for those asking me can we video call can we video chat because you want to ask a question you can just send it on my instagram account because it's really convenient to use and you know whenever i have time lovies i will try my best to answer your question there so that's all for today thank you so much we still have a lot of questions to answer in the future bye bye guys i hope you like and subscribe and see you on my next vlog thank you